Probably the most prominent types of creatures in cryptozoology are those that inhabit the water. Most notable of all is the Loch Ness Monster, a creature of Scottish folklore which is said to be a large reptilian creature with an elongated neck, a wide body, and flippers. Despite the popularity of the Loch Ness Monster, Scotland isn't the only country to have stories of such a creature. Russian folklore dating back centuries discusses a large serpent-like creature inhabiting the waters. The creature, known as the Bronzo Dragon, has supposedly been sighted in the last two decades, and scientists have even investigated locations of sightings. In some sightings, people claim to have seen a massive dragon head emerging from the waters. In 1978, 20 people in Japan reported seeing a series of black humps in Lake Ikeda. They were believed to be part of a sea serpent's body. In Canada, people from various areas have reported seeing large serpent-like creatures in the waters. The Cadborosaurus was sighted as far back as 1949 in western Canada. Then there is the Manipogo of central Canada, a creature of old Native American lore, which was supposedly sighted by numerous people in 1961 and then again in 1987. In 1992, the creature made headlines when two professional marine researchers published a paper discussing why they believed it existed. Such a creature was even protected under an environmental law in one province. Despite the range of sightings, the Loch Ness Monster and similar creatures still remain in the realm of cryptozoology. A corpse has never been found, and any corpse that has been found has been proven to be some other animal. While sightings are sometimes believed to be outright hoaxes, others say that people are simply mistaking other animals for the creature. Still, it's largely recognized that the oceans are probably the most unexplored places on Earth, so if any cryptids were able to keep largely hidden from human eyes, it would probably be the Loch Ness Monster and its cousins from around the world.